In recent days, markers have shown up at Six Flags Magic Mountain around the area of Tidal Wave and formerly Green Lantern First Flight. There are a couple theories going around about what could be coming for this area of the park in 2021, and I want to discuss what I would like to see come to Six Flags Star Park in the future. First, I want to shout out Theme Park Obsession on YouTube as he made an incredible video that really goes into detail about some of the construction work that has occurred here and even gives us a detailed view of where all of the markers have been placed. Really good stuff to check out if you want a really good idea of where this is all happening. It definitely helped me out a lot as I haven't been to the park, so I'm not familiar with the layout whatsoever. Link to that in the description. Anyway, getting into the good stuff here. Many people are suggesting that the FAX Six Flags is starting construction so incredibly soon after opening West Coast Racers means we are looking at a huge addition here, and even Six Flags Magic Mountain's 20th coaster. If you weren't aware, all the way back when West Coast Racers was announced in 2018, that was intended to be Magic Mountain's 20th coaster, but they ended up having to remove Green Lantern First Flight and Intamin Zaxpin, and it is now being reconstructed at La Ronde. For all of you out there who aren't math whizzes like me, that means West Coast Racers only makes 19 coasters for Magic Mountain. It seems like Six Flags would want to keep up with Magic Mountain's title of Thrill Capital of the World by continuing to invest in high thrill rides, and having 20 coasters would be a great way for them to cement that standing. I think the park will be receiving a new coaster sooner rather than later, especially given how long it took for West Coast Racers to finally open. So I do believe that we are going to be looking at yet another new coaster for Magic Mountain for the 2021 season. But what kind of coaster exactly? There are two very common rumored types of coasters that may be in store for Magic Mountain. Both of these models have very few iterations in existence and are both extremely different from one another, but both would make sense for Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags does have somewhat of a history with both of these models as well. The first of the two I will address is the rumor of a Mach Power Splash style ride. This could be the one seen at Six Flags Over Texas for 2020, known as Aquaman Power Wave, or it could also be the new variation just unveiled by Mach Rides called the Power Loop, which actually features a huge vertical loop in the middle of the course. A lot of people are pointing to this new Power Loop model as it seems like something that would fit in very nicely at a park like Magic Mountain. I don't disagree with that, as it gets very hot during the summer in Valencia, California, and Tidal Twister has been rumored to get the axe for quite some time. If that happens, Magic Mountain could definitely probably use another water ride to help beat the heat during the summer. Correct me if I'm wrong, as I am not aware of what water rides exist or don't exist beyond Tidal Twister. I do know the old log flume was removed for full throttle, so I'm guessing Magic Mountain would need some kind of new water ride. This would be perfect to cover two different types of rides with one addition, as it would give Magic Mountain their 20th coaster and also give them a modern thrilling water ride as well. I am aware that the power splash going to Six Flags over Texas was originally intended for Six Flags Dubai, and once that park fell through, they just had that sent to over Texas. So maybe another one of these isn't as likely as we think. I wouldn't pick this option myself just because I don't do water rides typically, but there is another option people are mentioning that I think could be more likely that I also think would be incredible at this park. Amusement Insiders released a video explaining how the markers seen at the park are lining up with the layout of Jersey Devil, which is Great Adventure's new for 2020 RMC Raptor single rail. I will link that video in the description as well. Based on some information and a map made by SuricatXN on Instagram, which is shown in that video, the markers appear to line up with Jersey Devil's layout, suggesting that Magic Mountain will be receiving a clone of that ride. The two Raptors that we currently have seen open already are mirrored clones of each other, and RMC has stated these were meant to be cloned rides as well, and given Six Flags history, it would be no surprise to see a clone come here. They are simply easier and cheaper to build, and I don't think there is anything wrong with cloning coasters, especially when we are talking about a thousand miles of difference and being such a well-regarded ride. Surely, Jersey Devil will deliver, and could even possibly be the best new coaster of 2020, so I would not complain seeing more of these built. These kinds of rides are so much better to see put in everywhere, as compared to clones we used to see at every park such as the Boomerangs and SLCs. Definitely a huge step. So, what do you all think of Magic Mountain beginning construction for a new project so soon after finally opening their newest big project? 
It seems like they are maybe trying to avoid the problems with West Coast racers and starting really early to ensure that doesn't happen again. Which model do you think would be a better fit for the park? I'm sure most enthusiasts are going to pick the RMC Raptor clone over the power loop, but I think there is a lot going for either option at Magic Mountain. Whatever it ends up being though, everything is finalized and ready to go seeing as the park is diving headfirst into the construction of this project. Let me know all of your thoughts about this and what it could mean for the future of the park. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.